Hi all, let's see the common poisonous and non-poisonous snakes of Kerala. So first of all, snake venom, it's a complex mixture of different kinds of proteins and peptides. It works as toxin and also enzymes. So it contains um, neurotoxin and hemotoxin. Snake venoms are usually neurotoxins or hemotoxins. Neurotoxins, they affect the nervous system, whereas hemotoxin affects the blood vascular system. There are other toxins like cardiotoxin, proteolysins and vasotoxins. The common poisonous snakes include uh, common Indian cobra, king cobra, common Indian crate and wrestles viper. The common Indian cobra, also called naja naja, it's commonly um, a black or wheat colored or brown colored snake which is mostly found in the agricultural fields and the medium size, a male grows up to a 2 meter and it, uh, covered around the snake has a smooth and shiny skin. So the identifying features of Indian cobra includes say, it has a small and a different and indistinct head and it has a rounded pupil and the back side of the neck on the ventral side there are two black spots or patches and the tail is cylindrical in shape and there are pterogliphous fangs present in this snake. The hood is the most prominent feature of cobra. It's a lateral expansion of the neck which is supported by uh, cervical drips. And cobras are not normally aggressive, but when they are threatened or disturbed, they react vigorously. They uh, raise their front part of the body and they spread out the hood. They provide a violent hiss and voice. They sway their neck, uh, head back and forth and side and side. The venom of cobra is neurotoxin which affects the nervous system. So if um, cobra bites a human, the it may kill a human being in about two to six hours and if a lethal dose is injected. They usually prey on rats and they can also swim under water and climb on trees. So the symptoms um, of a cobra bite includes there are both local and constitutional symptoms. The local symptoms include King Cobra of Euphagus Hanna or Naja Hanna. It's a large sized, fierce looking, deadly venomous and highly aggressive snake. It usually inhabits in the plains and the valleys of dense forests. So King Cobra, cobra is named because of its cannibalistic habit of preying upon other poisonous snakes and non-poisonous snakes. So it eats other poisonous and non-poisonous poisonous snakes. Um, that's why it called the it's called king cobra because of its ophiophagy, and uh, it's a deadly venomous and highly aggressive snake. It grows up to a length of five meter, and uh, mm, the color is usually yellow olive green brown or black colored and the uh, prominent features the identifying features include a uh, light yellow or white crosses on its body and the head scales edged with black tint and there are no uh, wet shield between the fourth and the fifth in infralibrials and the presence of two occipital shields, be shield behind their parietals. King Cobra, it's well known for its fears and aggressive display. It's very giant in size and extraordinary in length. The King Cobra, it's probably most, the most intelligent and the curious of all snakes. It mainly eats snakes um, and sometimes lizards also. The venom of King, Cro King Cobra is less toxic than that of uh, the common Indian Cobra. However, the venom glands are massive. They are up to, uh, they can kill, it's enough to kill uh, kill an elephant. Uh, but in India, uh, King Cobra is now rare and vanishing species. Common Indian crate, the common Indian crate, uh, Bunkaris Kerileus or wolf snake, it's a medium sized highly venomous nocturnal snake. The distinguishing features include it has a smooth and glossy body, a steel black or a bluish black on the above 
and white color below the, below the head it's slightly wider than that of the neck and the tail it is blunt and cylindrical in shape the belly plates they are broad and their fangs are proteodolyphous and it has a series of white arches or brands acro across its body they uh, usually feed on small snakes um, lizard rodents so they are true cannibal they uh, feed upon smaller crates and crate they are usually timid and inoffensive it has a powerful venom it rarely bites humans and when it is annoyed or injured it attacks and the bite is mostly fatal uh, their um, venom is neurotoxic in action which means it affects the nervous system mainly and the general symptoms they appear in about 15 to 30 minutes including uh, which is similar to that of the cobra bite but like um, BP drop in BP confession and um, followed by death results wiper or chain wiper it's a heavy bodied rough scaled brown or yellow colored over vivi paris nocturnal and pitless wiper it goes about 1.5 to 2 meter in length and uh, major identifying features of results wiper are it has a thick and rough scaled body it has a narrow neck and short and blunt tail and the mm, head region is flat and broad and triangular in shape is a v-shaped mark and some sports on the head and it is a the pupil is vertically elliptical and there are three longitudinal rows or chains of reddish patches uh, or rings on the back of the body and the nostrils are wide and large they are belly plates are broad and the uh, wrestle vipers that inhabit uh, in the hills forests and plains vipers are over paris which means the eggs are hatched within the uh, parent body and they stays inside the parent body uh, for a period of time they lays about uh, 20 to 40 eggs in the object in her females and they lay about 20 to 40 eggs in, a, or in their ovidict and they give birth during the time of May to July. They are young vipers are cannibalistic which means they eat uh, they eat young uh, the snakes, lizards and rodents and some arthropods too but adults are mostly or almost entirely rodents. They eat uh, rats and the venom of uh, viper is hemotoxic it affects the affects the uh, blood vascular system symptoms include um, you know a failure of heart and the 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 person collapse within an hour and bleeding from a mucous membrane or underneath the skin in eye and nose the common non-poisonous snakes include stiflops erix conchus tias and pike Tiflops or Tiflina, commonly called a worm snake or blind snake. It is um, a small earthworm-like degenerate snake which is growing up to a length of 15 to 30 centimeter or more. And they are the smallest of all Indian snakes and only very little is known about them. The worm snakes are um, possibly most widely distrib distributed of all snakes and the only snake which is reported in Lakshadweep. Uh, there are almost um, 18 species of Tiflops and the body of worm snake is slender, cylindrical, it has a blunt head and a blunt tail so we can identify it easily because it has both parts, both end parts are blunt and it is a reddish brown or black uh, in color. Mm, the head is not very distinct from the neck and the eyes are non-functional in worm snakes and um, the worm snakes they live underground in and nests or under logs and moist leaves so they in soft ground they can burrow rapidly worm snakes are the, they are regarded as primitive or degenerate forms but they are highly specialized for underground survival survival When irritated, uh, the worm snakes, they produce unpleasant musk 
It acts as a pheromone to let the other worm snake sense it, its presence and also it acts as a repellent to ants and predators. So worm snake, it's, um, it, it eats worms and eggs of the and soft bodied larva of ants and termites. It lays about five to eight eggs at a time. It is a parthenogenetic female and males are altogether absent. So it doesn't in, in require a male for its production of eggs. Eryx conicus, popularly known as earth snake, common sand boa or Russell's sand boa, they're found all over India except northeast uh, parts and most parts of West Bengal and NASA. They uh, inhabit in the sandy soils, burrows, and piles of bricks and stones, rock areas. Their body is short and thick and about 50 to 100 centimeters long, uh, gray, yellow, white, or dark brown in color. And they, they're in uneven chains of irregular reddish brown or blackish patches on their body. And the tail is short and sharply tapering and conical. Their head bears. Um, a scales instead of shield and sandboa it looks like a baby python and it resembles a russell's viper in having uh, the patches but in case of the russell's viper the uh, patches are round or oval shaped but in case of the um, worm snake their patches are irregular shaped and uh, sandboa they are Burrowing nocturnal snakes, they are extremely sluggish. They feed on rodents, lizards, and snakes, and it goes for hunting and, um, often in darkness. They wait for a passing prey, and where while its um, head and neck is out of the burrow, and it kills the prey by constriction. And when it's provoked, the snake it may resort to coiling and a uh, quick bite for defense or it may hide its head beneath the body and it's sandboa it's ovo viviparis it lays about six to eight uh, living young ones give birth to about six to eight living young ones Tias mucus is commonly called rat snake. It's found all over India, including the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. It can adapt to almost all environments. But still, rat holes uh, and termite mounds are its favorite dwellings. And the most another species of rat snake uh, quite common in India is um, Calonathus flavonitius. And the body is large and streamlined. It's covered with glossy scale which are keeled and dorsal rows. The body, its body color is variable. It may be olive green or mustard yellow in plains or brown or black in the hills. So there are black bands present across its uh, back uh, of the trunk and tail. And the head is covered by large shield. And a rat snake is famous for its fast running and also for its ability for climbing and swimming. It's a diurnal snake which means it's active during the day. And when threatened it puffs its short hisses and strikes with force. They are mainly rat eaters and they prey upon frog, toads, lizards and also nestling birds. They are oviparous snakes which lay about uh, 18 to 8 to 16 eggs during the March July period and also during the winter time uh, and winter months and young ones they hatch in about 60 days pythons are huge non poisonous snakes which are found in the tropical regions of asia africa and australia indian rock python uh, python molaris it's found all over india uh, the regal or reticulated python of Malay Peninsula and Nicobar Islands and the royal python uh, of the West Africa are the common examples. The generally, pythons they prefer a marshy region uh, in the vicinity of shallow water bodies. Their body is conspicuous with diamond-shaped markings all over their body. And the great elastic muscles all over their body, it gives their pythons enormous, enormous strength. They devour animals uh, as large as a goat by stretching their mouth. Indian rock python, 
It's primarily a forest snake and it enjoys wide distribution in the estuarine mangrove forests, arid scrub forests, and dense rainforest almost all over India. It lives uh, in the rocky clefts and caves, hollow trees, dense water reeds, etc. The rock python is large, which grows up to about 9 meter in length. And they have they're heavy bodied, they have smooth scaled snakes, they're smooth scaled snakes, and um, uh, its underside it may be white, yellow, or light orange in color. The head and the back they have head and the back have a diamond shaped patches, and uh, the tail it's short and prehensile. Pythons have the so called spurs, it represents the vestigial hind limbs. Uh, these are larger in males than that in the females. The pythons have heat sensors there over their body, which um, are small slits which near the nostrils. And a regal python is the longest snake in the world next to anaconda in of South America. And it is the largest of all snakes. It grows about uh, 10 meters, up to 10 meters. And they feed. Python feeds mainly on warm-blooded animals like mice, birds, civets, jackals, deers, and wild boars. And they strike the prey suddenly. They um, coils the prey and around it tightly to prevent the respiration and heartbeat and kill it by sheer pressure of construction. So they kill the Prey by construction, pythons they habitually bask in the sunlight or sleep in the sun during the daytime. At night, they go in search of prey, and or they lie in wait of the uh, of the prey, and uh, they uh, are oviparous snakes. The female they make a nest or they burrow and lay eggs in it and it, the female take care of the eggs by laying over them or remain coiled around them and the brooding female they generate they generate heat to incubate the eggs by rhythmic contraction and the shivering of their body of her body it's a unique character or uh, unusual behavior among snakes so in this session we discussed the common poisonous and non-poisonous snakes of kerala including common Indian Cobra, King Cobra, Common Indian Crate, Russell's Viper and the uh, common non-poisonous poisonous snakes include Tiflina or Tiflops um, then we have Eryx conicus which is popularly known as Earth Snake and um, Diasmocosis and Python. Thank you.